one of the um, unique opportunities we had in the Netherlands was a chance to form an intern program with the leading engineering university in the Netherlands called Delft University. Uh, there's a number of interesting connections that caused that to happen, not the least of which is the former chief of the Royal Dutch Air Force, uh, General Ben Droste. After he retired, became the dean at, uh, at Delft, and uh, he and I were good friends, and we talked about how could we involve some of these students in the process of designing and building the next generation fighter, given that the Netherlands is a principal partner on the program. Our students do internships all over the world and many different companies. Uh, this Lockheed Martin internship is in the US and it is concerning military aircraft. And that is not something that is standard in our program, so considered as, uh, as special. So due to, uh, thanks to Fokker, this has been made possible. They are really involved in, uh, in all kinds of technical issues. Uh, sometimes they are involved in, uh, in tooling issues. Sometimes they are focusing on certain uh, tolerances to, uh, to solve that. Uh, sometimes also about logistics. So I think it's, uh, it's a combination of all things. And uh, every student uh, has his own uh, roles and targets there. It provided me with some, uh, some valuable experience uh, yeah, as to what it's like to, uh, to work in a, in a big engineering company. What's it like to, uh, to work in a professional environment in general. Yeah, during testing sometimes things don't go the way you want to. In one occasion I was really given the freedom to try my own ideas and use my own uh, knowledge to come up with, uh, with something that, uh, that actually worked. I worked as a quality engineer at the wing department and as a quality engineer I was responsible for doing data analysis to find recurring issues so I could initiate corrective action. Let's be honest, I mean, it's just a perfect opportunity to uh, do an internship abroad, meet a different culture, and to be part of you know, such an excellent program as the F-45 program. But there's, the aerospace industry is very dynamic, and that's what I mainly learned at Lockheed Martin. Uh, you work with uh, very high quality, high tolerances, and it's always a challenge. It had a great impact on me. Um, first of all, I learned a lot about uh, working in a corporate environment, Lockheed in particular, of course. Uh, I learned a lot about the States, got to see a lot of places, and uh, last but not least, I got to know my future wife here. Quite a selective process, very competitive process to get students picked to come be part of this. We only take a very limited number every year. And there's an interview process, uh, there are graduate students in engineering. We also have um, a kind of an alumni group that passes down residences and cars, and it's just become a bit of the culture of Delft. I think if you go to Delft University today, you won't find anybody that doesn't know about the F-35 intern program. It's kind of that popular, so. Students also, you see, have much more opportunities due to this uh, prestigious uh, uh, internship. So it's greatly valued that we have this special internship with Lockheed Martin that is so successful and we would uh, really like to run this for at least another 10 years. I think it's, uh, it's worthwhile to go there. It's not only about uh, looking at uh, Lockheed Martin, but also uh, uh, learning about culture and also a lot about uh, traveling in the US. Well, when the interns finally get here, my relationship with them uh, is not in a supervisory capacity, but it's more social. We go out and um, eat at some of the local establishments, go to some of the local sporting events, and um, just, just socialize more than, than during the workday communication. So we made many trips. I think the one that stuck most to me was uh, our trip to New Mexico. Left a bit early, 3,000 miles in three and a half days. Uh, the favorite place I visited during the internship is uh, Las Vegas. During the Labor Day weekend, we uh, had a trip to uh, Las Vegas in the Grand Canyon, and uh, that was just an awesome experience. Uh, New York City, uh, for obvious reasons, you've all seen it on TV, and it's great to finally be there in person. The most important thing I learned during my internship is that there's a lot more to learn, always, and that that will never stop. I heard that some interns uh, had the poss possibility to sign their signature on the nose of the F-35. And I also heard that uh, some interns had the possibility to saw the second flight of the first Dutch F-35. And um, I also wanted to work for uh, a large aerospace company, so I directly chose to uh, apply for this position. I'm just proud to have been part of the early days and, and very proud of all the students that have been part of the program and proud of the work teams that have, uh, have warmly embraced the students when they're coming to the workforce. Congratulations to the interns of the past, and I want to wish the very best of luck to the interns of the future. Lucky Martin in TU Delft, congratulations on a successful 10-year internship program. TU Delft and Lucky Martin, van harte gefeliciteerd met een 10-jarig succesvol stageprogramma.